Oh hey there lads, my name is Larcy. Are you ever playing Battlefield 5 just minding your own business when suddenly your game stutters, freezes, or just borks completely? Well, of course you have. I mean, it's a Battlefield game. There's always a lot going on and sometimes things just go wrong. There isn't someone out there who can say they've had nothing but stutterless and clean performance, especially with Battlefield 5. It's usually the number one complaint how the game's performance is subpar compared to other titles released this year. I'm always tagged in videos highlighting this sort of stutter and performance issue, but something a lot of people don't seem to acknowledge is a set of performance icons that appear on screen when these issues go ahead. So today I'll be running down through each of these icons to explain what they mean and maybe how you'll be possibly able to fix the issue if the icons persist. Let's start with the ping, that's just something you need to know. It's the number that shows up beside everybody's name on the scoreboard, I'm sure you've seen it before. The ping is essentially your client's connection to the server and is calculated by the amount of time it takes for information to be sent from your own personal setup to the server and then back again. So when deciding on a server to join, pick the one with the lowest ping. In terms of knowing what each icon means, let's start with this one. This icon represents server performance, so this is separate to you and your setup. If this icon flashes, it's something to do with the EA servers you're connected to. Maintenance is regularly done on servers to keep them as polished as possible, but sometimes they do go down and that's when you'll be kicked back to the main menu with a message reading, the server crashed. The next icon is this one. This warns you when you're experiencing what is called packet loss. A packet is a unit of data being sent to and from the server. Packet loss occurs if that data fails to reach its destination. It usually happens when there is an error in the transmission, more common across wireless networks where there is a lot of interference or even on more congested wired networks. To combat this, make sure the connection is clean and stronger if you're willing to put a bit more money into it and if you're running a wireless network, maybe try wired. But sometimes it's honestly just unavoidable. Latency is up next. This is essentially what we just talked about. It refers to the ping. This icon appears on screen when your latency gets too high. For Battlefield 5, I don't know the exact ping value, but it's a usually around the 100 to 120 mark. The information being sent to the server is delayed, which results in a laggy experience in game. Combat this by connecting to a server with lower ping. To follow on, we have the latency variation icon. This occurs when your latency bounces around up and down. It appears when you suffer ping spikes, usually something to do with a congested network again, or maybe it's because you're on a wireless network. Up next, we have two hardware icons and these apply to PC only. This icon refers to low frames per second. Battlefield 5 is a visually stunning game and needs a lot of power to drive the graphics. If you get this icon in game, I'd suggest taking a look at your graphics card in your PC. It might be time for an upgrade. Otherwise, make sure you're running the latest drivers and if nothing else, maybe just lower the quality in game and see if that fixes the issue. And finally, we have the refresh rate icon. This applies to the refresh rate of your monitor. Not the biggest deal in the world, but still handy to know. In an ideal setup, your FPS, your monitor refresh rate, and the refresh rate of the server are all synced. 60 FPS on a 60 Hertz server using a 60 Hertz monitor. I'm fairly sure on a PC, the servers can reach 120 Hertz. So if you can match that with 120 FPS and a 120 Hertz monitor, your experience will be 10 times smoother. I'm not too sure if it goes up to 144 Hertz just yet, but maybe test it out. The icon appears though when something is out of sync. Make sure you're getting the most out of your setup. This may warrant buying a different cable like a DisplayPort or HDMI. And there you go. Obviously I've glossed over a lot and there's a lot more to everything mentioned, but I wanted to keep things as concise as possible. If you lads have issues with Battlefield 5, maybe help each other out down below in the comment section or hit up EA Help. They have a lovely team working on that stuff and they'll do anything to get you up and running again. But anyway, thank you lads for watching. I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. I'd really appreciate that or a dislike if you didn't and subscribe for more Battlefield content from me. But until the next one, I'll see you lads later.